Hey guys, it's me, Vloggirl1999. My real name is Reagan. Um, so today's video is going to be basically a, a Who Am I video. So I'm going to be doing a bunch of questions. I have 25 that I found on the internet that I liked, that I figured, oh, this will kind of give you a good idea of who I am. Um, my name is Reagan. I am 15 years old. My birthday is June 26th. And I currently live in the state of Missouri. Um... I was born in Missouri, lived in Arkansas for most of my life, but I am currently living in Missouri. So, um, I'm going to start off with the actual questions that I have. So, question number one, what's the most played song on your iPod? So, I actually looked at this. I'm using my iPod to film, so I couldn't look at it while I was filming. Um, my top rated song is a mashup of I Want You Back, ABC, and The Love You Save um, by the Jackson 5 from Motown the Musical. But um, the one on my 25 most top played is there right there from Legally Blonde the Musical. Um, so those, I guess, are the toss-up two. Um, what is one of your favorite quotes? Um, my favorite quote is... Um, let, me, let me think about how it goes. Hmm. I think it goes... It's not about where you end up or how you get where you're going it's about enjoying the journey so I like that one if you could choose to stay a certain age forever what age would it be I think it would be in my twenties like twenty five I don't know why that just seems like the ideal age to me if you could choose anyone who would you pick as your mentor hmm. probably Ronald Reagan, he's my favorite president, so I would pick him as my mentor. If you could witness any event, past, present, or future, what would it be? Um, that's a hard one. I think I would probably want to witness, uh, this might sound pretty gruesome, but probably 9-11. I don't know why, I mean, I was two when that happened. But I would like to have been older and be able to really process it and experience it with everyone else. And I know it was a really bad thing to happen, but I don't know. I felt like it brought our country way closer together during that time. So I would like to experience that. If you had to change your first name, what would you change it to? I think I would change it to Amy. I don't know why. I've always liked Amy. I'm, I'm a little bit OCD, so maybe it's because it starts with an A. But, um... I don't know. I just always have liked Amy. If you could meet anyone, living or dead, who would you meet? Hmm. Probably Bonnie or Clyde. I don't know why. I think their story is really cool. Um, and they were outlaws and stuff. So I'd like to meet one of them. Probably Bonnie more than Clyde. She wanted to be an actress, and she ended up being an outlaw. So I guess she got her fame, just not the way she thought she would. Um... If you could be any fictional character, who would you choose? I think I would choose Hermione Granger from the Harry Potter series because I love Harry Potter. What would you name the autobiography of your life? Um, hmm. Probably sit down or shut up. <laughs> sit down and shut up. I like that one. So I'd probably use that one. What songs are included on the soundtrack to your life? Probably Story of My Life by One Direction. And not that I'm a like a true One Direction fan, but I kinda like that song. Um Perfect Day from Legally Blonde. I don't know what band did it, but it was at the beginning of the movie and I like that song. And my like my third song that would probably be on there is probably hmm, Don't Rain on My Parade from Funny Girl. I just love that song. So probably that one. What was the last movie, TV show, or book that made you tear up? The last movie that made me cry... Um, I don't know. I cry at, like, everything. I cry at every movie, most likely. Um, the only one I can think of, but it was a long time ago, just because I can't remember the last one, um, Marley and Me. That was a long time ago, and it's not the last movie that made me cry, but it's the last one that I can remember at the moment. So, yeah. Sorry, my, my brother's running around upstairs being all loud. So, um... The last TV show that made me cry was probably Glee. 
I love Glee, and when they graduated season three, I cried my eyes out because I thought it was over. I knew it wasn't over, but still cried. The last book that made me cry, this is going to sound really wimpy, but I'm helping out at the book fair, and when I do vlogs giving next week, um, I'm going to go and do book talks and read stories to the little kids for the book fair. So I was reading some picture books to try to figure out um, what I wanted to do for that, and I was reading this book called Splat and like the Big School Trip or something, and Splat is a cat who really wants to go to the zoo to see the penguins, and he gets there, and his mouse friend named Seymour scares away the elephant, so he jumps in the penguin pool, and so he can't see all the penguins because they're hiding because they're scared of the elephant. So his mouse friend tries to make up for it and brings all the penguins to his house so he can see the penguins. And it made me cry when he couldn't see the penguins. I don't know why, but... What's the best or worst gift you've ever given or received? Um, the best gift I've ever given... Um, I have this friend at school. He's a guy, and uh, he really likes Lord of the Rings, so I ended up getting him, like, a limited copy of The Hobbit because it had, like, a cool cover and stuff. Um, I think there was a map of Mordor or whatever the heck is in Lord of the Rings. I don't really like Lord of the Rings, and I've never seen it. Um... But there, it was a really cool book, and I really, he was really excited about it. So I'm, I like making people happy when I give them presents. Um, the best gift I've ever received was probably my laptop. I guess I use it all the time. So yeah, I guess that's it. And the worst gift I've ever given. I mean, she likes it, but I gave my friend Kristen a tracker and her charm bracelet thing. It was a charm, but it didn't have a necklace on it. She likes it, but it, she's a hurdler and not a runner, per se, so I don't, I don't think that was my best gift. Um, and the worst gift I've ever received, um, I really don't know. I don't think I've ever gotten a bad gift. Probably, I'll, I'll go with a gift I got myself. I got myself a tub of whipped cream one time. I love whipped cream and I eat it like I don't need to have anything to go with it. I will just eat it. So, yeah, that's probably the worst gift I've ever received from myself. Um, what's the one sound that drives you crazy? Oh my gosh, I hate screechy noises. Like, <coughs> like nails down a chalkboard. Oh my gosh, it gives me goosebumps and I hate it. One time me and my friend Kristen were cutting something in the school cutting lab or whatever. She was using the big paper cutter and it was going... <coughs> And I fell down on the ground and was like, oh my gosh, I cannot. I cannot do this. What's your preferred method of getting the news? I actually use, um, it's not real news like everybody else would consider news. I use Broadway World and Broadway.com because I get Broadway news because that's what I care about. So that's how I get my news, but other people, most people wouldn't consider that news. Do you prefer Coke or Pepsi? I prefer Coke. What is your favorite holiday? Christmas, and not not because of the presents. I mean, I like presents and stuff, and I like giving presents, but I feel like out of all the holidays, Christmas is the holiday because you spend time with your family, and you decorate tree, and you do lights, and you do cookies, and you wrap presents, and you go shopping, and it's just really fun, and I love Christmas. What's your favorite cereal? Um, it's a, probably a cross between Lucky Charms and Cocoa Puffs. I love both of those cereals. I'm I'm just looking at my nails right now. I just repainted them and I like them. And they're black. Um, what's your favorite smell? Okay, so this one is also a toss-up. Probably between freshly mown grass and leather. Like new leather that just got made. I went to Hot Springs with my parents on a trip one time. And we walked past the leather shop and it smelled awesome. I loved it. What's your favorite movie to watch over and over again? Um, that's a tough one because I watch a lot of movies over and over again. Um, probably Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part Two, Part Dos, because th I love that that one. That's probably my favorite Harry Potter movie. I don't know why it makes me ball, but I love that movie. What was the last CD you bought? Okay, I have not bought I have not bought a CD in a long time. So the last CD that I bought was like the Jonas Brothers second album. <laughs> so yeah, Jonas Brothers, woo woo. Um, what was the last movie you saw? Um, the last movie that I went to go see 
the last time I went to a movie theater, I went to go see the Doctor Who uh, season 8 premiere. So that that's not a movie, but before that, I think the last movie I went to go see... Oh, dang. Oh, it was God's Not Dead in the theater, yeah. I had seen it already in the theater because we went with my youth group, but my friend Kristen wasn't there th that time. So um, I took her to go see it when we went on a school trip. Um, we got to go to the mall, so I took her to go see it. Um, if you could have dinner with any three people, who would you choose? Um, let's see. Barbara Streisand. Um, Steven Spielberg. Um, and... Who else? Marie Antoinette. There you go. I mean, um, Barbara Streisand is like my idol. I love her. Um, Steven Spielberg makes good movies. So does James Cameron. So yeah. Maybe it's a toss-up between Steven Spielberg and James Cameron. And um, Marie Antoinette, just because her story interests me. Like, she's part of history that I really like. So, um, If you could hire any actor to portray you in a movie, who would you choose? Jennifer Lawrence. I love Jennifer Lawrence, and I think she's an amazing actor. And she just got her hair cut short like mine. So, yeah. Um, if you could possess any superpower, what would it be? Oh man, there's so many awesome superpowers. I would like to have every superpower, but I'm not going to say that because I feel like that's cheating. Um, hmm. Let's see. Mm, probably invisibility. I'm going to go with invisibility because I like that superpower. And lastly, what do you want to be when you grow up? Um, I've wanted to be an actress on Broadway for as long as I can remember. Um, like three years. <laughs> That's as long as I can remember, I guess. Um, but yeah, it's my dream, and that is what I want to do with my life. So, yeah. Um, and another thing, I was going to say it at the beginning of the video when I was telling you a little bit about me. Um, I, I don't know if you can tell, but my hair is kind of a mix between brown and black right now. And that's because my hair is naturally brown, but I dyed it black, and we're actually getting some more hair dyed today, so I'm going to dye it again. And um, so that is it for the Who Am I video. And I just want to let you know that I'm going to be doing Vlogsgiving, which I don't, I don't think I made it up, but I made up my own rules to it. So Vlogsgiving, I'm going to vlog from Monday to Sunday this next week um, because it's Thanksgiving. So it's going to be in a, a full week of vlogging, so seven days. And then I'm going to do Vlogmas, or Vlogmas, which is 24 days because it's going to be December 1st to the 24th. Um, so the beginning of December to Christmas Eve. And then I'm going to do a Christmas morning video. And then I'm going to do a What I Got for Christmas video. It's kind of repetitive, but I love Christmas. I told you that. So I will see you guys later. And I hope that we have a good time on this channel. So bye, guys.